Elena Del Don, born September 5, 1989, is an American professional basketball player who last played for the Washington Mystics of the Women's National Basketball Association, WNBA. Del Don played college basketball for the Delaware Blue Hens from 2009 to 2013. She was drafted by the Chicago Sky with the second overall pick of the 2013 WNBA draft and led the Sky to the 2014 WNBA Finals, where they were defeated by the Phoenix Mercury. Del Don was traded to the Washington Mystics in 2017 and led them to their first WNBA championship in 2019. Del Don has won two WNBA Most Valuable Player Awards, 2015, 2019, comma, been selected to seven all-star teams, and was the first WNBA player to join the 50, 40, and 90 club. She was named to the W25, the league's list of the top 25 players of its first 25 years, in 2021. She is by far the all-time leader in free throw percentage in WNBA history, with a mark of 93.7%. Early life Del Don inherited her 6 feet 5 inches, 1.96 meters height from both her parents. Her father, who played college golf, is 6 feet 6 inches, 1.98 m, and her mother is 6 feet 2 inches, 1.88 m. Her childhood was marked by a struggle to come to terms with her unusual height. According to a 2016 ESPN story, her first memory was going on a shopping trip when she was three years old and hearing other shoppers tell her mother that an eight-year-old should not be using a pacifier. In third grade, her class was assigned to measure themselves using lengths of paper. She was humiliated when her paper extended well beyond those of her classmates. Within two years of that incident, a doctor wanted to start her on injections to stunt her growth. Her mother refused. By the time she was in 8th grade, she was already 6 feet 0 inches, 1.83 meters. Additionally, according to the same ESPN piece Del Don had to come to terms with having a body that could do a great many things that the body of her older sister, Lizzie, couldn't. Lizzie was born deaf and blind, is unable to speak, and also has cerebral palsy and autism. In another 2016 ESPN story, Del Don credits her mother with helping her accept her height frowny face. She's 6 to 2 and my dad is 6 to 6, so she understood. She was like, I'm telling you, one day you are going to realize how beautiful your height is. She would always tell me how unique I am and say, why try to be like the rest of the pack? Be your own person. High school career Del Don playing for the Ursuline Academy Raiders in 2008 Del Don gained national recognition as a high school basketball star at Ursuline Academy in Wilmington, Delaware. She led Ursuline to three straight Delaware state championship titles and was ranked as the number one overall high school recruit by Scout.com as well as a McDonald's All-American. She was the first and only student at Ursuline so far to score two 0, 0, 0 plus points during her high school career and also set the girls' high school national record for consecutive free throws made 80 in 2005-2006. Del Don was also named a WBCA All-American. She participated in the 2007 WBCA High School All-America game, where she scored 17 points and earned MVP honors for the red team. She also participated in volleyball. Del Don won the Volleyball DIAA State Championship with Ursuline in 2007. She posted a season-high 20 kills against Padua during a game involving the number one and two teams in the state. College career Del Don playing for the Delaware Fightin' Blue Hens in 2010 following an outstanding prep career during which she became the most highly touted women's basketball recruit since Candace Parker, Del Don received a basketball scholarship from the University of Connecticut. However, in early June 2008, Del Don abruptly dropped out of Connecticut's summer school program after just two days. Del Don was very close to her family, especially her older sister, Lizzie, who has cerebral palsy and is blind and deaf. She was not ready to be separated from her family. Jean, Elena's brother and the middle child of the Del Don family, stated in a 2012 ESPN story on his younger sister, her relationship with Lizzie is huge. It's so close. It's a big reason why she is such a homebody who came home from Yukon, because she craves to be around Lizzie and to experience Lizzie grabbing her and sniffing her and just spend quality time with her. A week after leaving Connecticut, 
Del Don said by telephone from her home in Wilmington that she has a lot of personal issues to fix. Only my family understands what's going on. Right now I am going to take a long personal break. She took a similar break prior to the 2007-08 season in high school. On August 16, 2008, Del Don announced she would not accept the scholarship due to burnout and instead decided to enroll at the University of Delaware and join their volleyball team as a walk-on. She played middle hitter at UD for the 2008-09 season. The 2008 Delaware Blue Hens finished their season with a record of 19-16. They were 9-5 in their conference, Colonial Athletic Association, and won the conference tournament. They earned a spot in the NCAA tournament but lost to Oregon in the first round. Del Don did not continue on the volleyball team in 2009 but joined the basketball team. On June 2, 2009, Del Don announced that she would play basketball for the Blue Hens in the 2009-10 season as a redshirt freshman. In 2012, ESPN writer Graham Hayes said about her return to the sport it cannot be complete coincidence that it came the year Gene returned to Delaware and went to work for his dad's company. In a 2016 interview with ESPN, Del Don also recalled a trip she took during the summer of 2009 to the school that Lizzie was attending. While there, she met another woman at the school, a basketball fan who used a wheelchair due to cerebral palsy, who told her, Elena, do everything you can with your abilities, just like we do. Del Don had a very productive freshman season. She averaged 26.7 points per game, the third highest of all Division I women's basketball players. She scored 54 points in a loss against James Madison on February 18, 2010, which was the highest single-game point total by any Division I female basketball player that season. She was named the CAA Rookie of the Week six times and the Player of the Week once during 2009-10. She was voted the CAA's Player of the Year and Rookie of the Year in women's basketball by CAA coaches, sports, information directors, and media. This was the first time a player had won both awards in one year since Old Dominion's Lucien Berthieu did so in 1999. No men's player has ever won both awards in the same season. In her sophomore season, the team started off well, but then Del Don began to develop flu-like symptoms. In a game against Penn State, she asked to be taken out of the game, something she had never done before. After many tests, the doctors finally diagnosed her with Lyme disease. She struggled the rest of the season, but she helped her team reach the finals of the conference tournament and an invitation to the women's NIT. As a junior, Del Don led the nation in scoring, finishing the season with an average of 28.1 points per game. Her prowess attracted many fans to the Blue Hens games, with attendance rising 250% from the previous year. On February 16, 2012, Del Don scored 42 points in a win over Hofstra, eclipsing the 2,000-point mark for her career. Delaware were the CAA champions, qualifying for the 2012 NCAA Women's Division I Basketball Tournament. Del Don scored 39 out of the Blue Hens' first 56 points in their first-round victory over UALR. Delaware led at halftime against Kansas in the next game, but despite Del Don's 34 points, the Jayhawks still won. During the 2012-13 season, Del Don again fought Lyme disease, missing four games due to the illness. Del Don returned on December 12 against Maryland and led the team with 19 points and six rebounds in a 69-53 loss. This game was the largest crowd, 5,089, to ever to see a women's basketball game at the Bob Carpenter Center, the Blue Hens' home court. Del Don led her team in scoring in 22 regular season games during her senior season, as well as in rebounds in 12 games. She scored more than 30 points on five occasions, leading her team to a 27-3 regular season record entering CAA Conference Tournament play. After winning the CAA Conference Tournament, the Blue Hens were the number six seed in their region of the 2013 NCAA Women's Division I Basketball Tournament. Del Don led them to victories over No. 11 West Virginia and No. 3 North Carolina. The Blue Hens then lost to No. 2 Kentucky, despite Del Don's 33 points. WNBA career Del Don at Madison Square Garden and the Chicago Skies win over the New York Liberty in 2015.
Chicago Sky, 2013 to 2017, following her collegiate career, Del Don was one of 12 players to be invited to the 2013 WNBA draft. She was selected second overall in that draft by the Chicago Sky, a team that went 14 to 20 in the 2012 season. In her professional debut, Del Don scored 22 points against fellow rookie Brittany Griner and the Phoenix Mercury in a 102-80 victory. She led all players in votes for the 2013 WNBA All-Star Game, the first time a rookie had done so in league history. However, a concussion forced her to miss the game. After the All-Star break, Del Don returned to action and continued to play at a high level. The Sky not only qualified for the playoffs for the first time in franchise history, but they also earned the top seed in the Eastern Conference. Del Don was named the 2013 Rookie of the Year. The 2014 regular season had Del Don playing only 16 games due to a flare-up of Lyme disease, averaging less than 19 minutes in the final seven games. Eventually, she rose up during the playoffs, helping the Sky defeat the Atlanta Dream in the first round scoring 34 points including a game-winning shot with 8.2 seconds left in overtime as the Sky erased a 17-point deficit with 8.12 left in regulation in the deciding game. However, Del Don was elbowed while going for a rebound in the Atlanta series and suffered a back injury that reduced her play time in the following round against the Indiana Fever. The Sky still got to the WNBA Finals, but they lost to the Phoenix Mercury. Del Don played only 10 minutes in the first game, she took medication to play 68 minutes and score 45 points over the final two games. On September 16, 2015, Del Don was named the WNBA MVP for the 2015 season. She scored a league-high 23.4 points per game, shot a career-high 95% from the free-throw line, and was ranked third in the league in rebounding. She received 38 of 39 first-place votes during the regular season. Del Don scored a career-high 45 points in an overtime win against the Atlanta Dream while making 19 consecutive free throws, a WNBA record. Del Don with the Washington Mystics, 2017 WNBA. Semifinals Del Don has played in two NBA All-Star Celebrity Games in 2014 and 2016. In the 2016 season, Del Don averaged 21.5 points per game, helping the Sky to another playoff berth as they finished 18-16. With the WNBA's new playoff format in effect, the Sky were the number four seed in the league, which earned them a bye to the second round. Unfortunately, Del Don had suffered an injury on her right thumb in a loss to the Washington Mystics. Del Don had season-ending surgery that kept her out for the playoffs. Del Don played 28 games in the season before the injury. Without Del Don, the Sky still had a decent playoff run, advancing to the semifinals, the last round before the WNBA Finals, where they lost 3-1 to the eventual champion Los Angeles Sparks. Washington Mystics, 2017-2023, with Del Don approaching restricted free agent status and her rookie contract expiring in the 2017 offseason, she was traded to the Washington Mystics in exchange for Stephanie Dolson, Kalia Copper and the second overall pick in the 2017 WNBA draft just a couple days before the start of free agency. On May 14, 2017, Del Don made her debut for the Mystics, scoring a team-high 26 points in an 89-74 win over the San Antonio Stars, on May 19, 2017. Del Don scored a season-high 27 points in a 99-89 loss to the Los Angeles Sparks. During Emma Meesman's absence, Del Don played outside her natural position as the starting power forward for the Mystics. On July 14, 2017, Del Don suffered a sprained right ankle in a game against Indiana Fever, which caused her to miss the 2017 WNBA All-Star Game. On July 25, 2017, Del Don scored a new season high of 29 points along with 10 rebounds in an 85-76 win against the San Antonio Stars after returning from her ankle injury. On August 1, 2017, Del Don suffered a left thumb injury while playing against the Atlanta Dream and was ruled out for two weeks. On August 25, 2017, she returned and scored 15 points in a 74-66 loss to the New York Liberty. On September 1, 2017, 
Del Don scored a new season high of 37 points along with a career-high six three-pointers in a 110-106 overtime win against the Seattle Storm as the Mystics secured a playoff berth as the number 6 seed in the league with an 18-16 record. In the first-round elimination game, the Mystics defeated the Dallas Wings 86-76, Del Don scored 25 points and grabbed 11 rebounds, they advanced to the second round. Elimination game, where they defeated the number three seeded New York Liberty, 82 to 68, advancing to the semifinals, making it the first time in franchise history where the Mystics have advanced past the second round. Del Don scored 18 points and grabbed 10 rebounds in the win. In the semifinals, the Mystics were defeated by the Minnesota Lynx in a three game sweep. In the 2018 season, with Miesman sitting out the season to play for Team Belgium in the FIBO World Tournament, Del Don played at the power forward position in the starting lineup. On June 13, 2018, Del Don scored a season-high 36 points in a 95-91 victory over the Connecticut Sun, after scoring 23 points in a 77-80 loss to the Atlanta Dream, Del Don became the fastest player in WNBA history to score 3,000 points, completing the feat in 148 games. The previous record was held by Diana Taurasi and Simone Augustus, who both completed the feat in 151 games. Del Don was voted into the 2018 WNBA All-Star Game, receiving her fifth All-Star appearance. By the end of regular season, Del Don averaged 20.7 ppg. The Mystics were the number three seed with a 22-12 record, receiving a bye to the second-round elimination game. The Mystics defeated the Los Angeles Sparks, 96-64, advancing to the semifinals for the second year in a row. Del Don scored 19 points in the victory. In the semifinals, the Mystics faced the number 2 seed Atlanta Dream, Del Don scored 32 points in Game 1, lifting the Mystics to an 87-84 victory. The Mystics ended up winning the series in a hard-fought five-game series, advancing to the WNBA Finals for the first time in franchise history. However, the Mystics were swept by the Storm in the Finals. During the 2019 season, Del Don was voted into the WNBA All-Star Game, making it her sixth All-Star appearance and was also named team captain after receiving the top two votes among All-Stars in the league for the new All-Star Game voting format. On July 30, 2019, Del Don scored a season-high 33 points in a 99-93 victory over the Phoenix Mercury. By the end of the season and with the help of Miesman's return, the Mystics finished as the number one seed in the league with a 26-8 record, receiving a double bye to the semifinals. During the playoffs it was announced that Del Don had won the MVP award, making it her second career MVP award. She also made the All-WNBA first team and finished the regular season with a new career high in field goal percentage. In the semifinals, the Mystics defeated the Las Vegas Aces 3-1 to advance to the WNBA Finals for the second year in a row, also making it Del Don's third finals appearance. During the finals, Del Don battled through injury, with a 1-0 Mystics series lead, she left Game 2 with back spasms in which the Mystics lost, tying the series 1-1, however, she continued to play through injury for the rest of the series and helped the Mystics win the WNBA championship after defeating the Connecticut Sun in five games, earning Del Don her first WNBA championship. Del Don also became the first woman to join the prestigious 50 40 90 club, 50% field goals, 40% three point shooting, and 90% free throws over a single season, marking great all around shooters. Only nine men had previously achieved the feat in an NBA season Larry Bird, twice consecutively, Steve Nash, four times in five seasons, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Reggie Miller. Dirk Nowitzki, Mark Price, Malcolm Brogdon, and Kyrie Irving. In 2020, Del Don opted to sit out the entire season due to health concerns and pre-existing risk factors with the COVID-19 pandemic. She had been denied medical opt-out by the league despite recommendation by her physician to not play in the bubble to avoid any risk of exposure to the virus, however. The Mystics were able to resolve the issue and decided to pay Del Don her full salary for the season while being absent, without Del Don and less of her supporting cast. The 
Mystics struggled to defend their title as they barely made the playoffs as the number 8 seed with a 9-13 record in the shortened 22-game season, they lost 85-84 to the Phoenix Mercury in the first-round elimination game. Del Don was limited to three games during the 2021 WNBA season, during that season, she was named to the W25 as one of the top 25 players of the league's first 25 years. In February 2024, Del Don announced that she would step away from basketball and did not sign the contract the Mystics had offered her. Overseas career Unlike the vast majority of WNBA players, Del Don has not played much professionally overseas, choosing instead to spend the traditional basketball season in the United States to help care for her sister, Lizzie. Her first experience in an overseas league did not come until 2017, when she signed a short-term deal to play for the Chinese team Shangxi in that league's playoffs. Her China sojourn ended prematurely when a flare-up of Lyme disease forced her to return to the U.S. National team career Del Don shooting a free throw in 2017 during her college days, Del Don was selected to the 2011 USA basketball team for the World University Games played August 12-23 in Shenzhen, China. Del Don led the team to a gold medal with a perfect 6-0 record and averaged 15.7 points, 8.5 rebounds, and 3.0 assists. In the championship game won by the USA 101-66 over Taiwan, Del Don scored 18 points on 8-14 shooting and led the team with 11 rebounds and 8 assists. While Del Don was considered for the U.S. team at the 2014 World Championship, she was cut due to the back injury suffered in the WNBA playoffs. On April 27, 2016, Del Don was named to the 2016 United States team that competed at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, during the U.S. team's eighth gold medal campaign. She was a role player. Starting off the bench in seven games and sitting out the game against China due to an eye injury received during practice. The U.S. team won the gold medal as they defeated Spain 101-72. Del Don is the sixth gold medalist hailing from Delaware. Personal life Del Don was born in Wilmington, Delaware. Her parents are Ernie, a real estate developer, and Joni. Her older brother, Jean, played college football as a tight end, first at Duke then at Middle Tennessee. After he graduated from Middle Tennessee in 2009, he returned to Delaware to work for their father's company. Her older sister, Elizabeth, Lizzie, is blind, deaf, autistic and has cerebral palsy. Del Don normally cares for Lizzie during the WNBA offseason. In 2008, during her senior year in high school, Del Don was diagnosed with Lyme disease after being bitten by an infected tick on the property of her family's home in Delaware. Del Don has stated that she takes around 50 supplements a day and maintains healthy eating to combat the disease. As a result of her condition, she opted not to play in the 2020 WNBA season to limit her exposure to the coronavirus. In February 2014, Del Don was named a Special Olympics Global Ambassador. She also played in the third annual NBA Care Special Olympics Unified Basketball Game during All-Star Weekend, alongside Special Olympics athletes, NBA legends and current WNBA and NBA players. Del Don plans to create the Elena Del Don Charitable Foundation, which will combine initiatives for both the Special Olympics and Lyme disease awareness. Del Don announced her engagement to her longtime girlfriend Amanda Clifton in an August 2016 issue of Vogue, on November 3, 2017. Del Don and Clifton married. Endorsement deals since being drafted in the WNBA, Del Don has signed multiple endorsement deals with different companies. In 2013, Del Don signed endorsement deals with Nike and DuPont, a chemical company which is based in her hometown Wilmington, Delaware. In 2015, Del Don signed a representation agreement with Octagon. She is also one of three WNBA players to have career mode icons in NBA Live 19 alongside Candace Parker and Brittany Griner. Awards and Honors Basketball 2004, USA Today Freshman All-America, Nike All-America Camp, Street and Smith Preseason All-America Honorable Mention, All-State First Team, 2005, Scott slash FCP Super 6, Parade All-America Fourth Team, EA Sports All-America, Gatorade Delaware Player of the Year, DSBA Delaware Player of the Year, Street and Smith All-American Third Team.
All-State First Team 2005, 2006, Slam Magazine All-American First Team, Women's Basketball Magazine All-American First Team, Parade All-American First Team, Sports Illustrated All-American Second Team, EA Sports All-American, USA Today All-American Third Team, Gatorade State Player of the Year, All-State First Team 2006, 2007, Parade All-American Third Team, Gatorade State Player of the Year, First Ever Cover Subject of Girl Magazine 2008, McDonald's All-American Team. USA Today National Player of the Year and First Team All-America, Naismith Prep Player of the Year, Gatorade National Player of the Year, EA Sports Player of the Year, Delaware Athlete of the Year, 2010 AP All-American Honorable Mention, CA Player of the Year, CA All-Defensive Team, CA All-Rookie Team, CA All-Tournament Team, Delaware Athlete of the Year, 2011 AP and WBCA All-American Third Team, All-CA First Team, CA All-Tournament Team, 2012 AP, WBCA, Wooden, and USBWA All-American First Team, CAA Player of the Year, CAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player, Delaware Athlete of the Year, 2013 AP, WBCA, Wooden, and USBWA All-American First Team, CAA Player of the Year, CAA All-Defensive Team, CAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player, UD Outstanding Female Senior Athlete, WNBA Rookie of the Year, All-WNBA Second Team, 2013, Winner of the Honda Sports Award for Basketball, 2015, WNBA Most Valuable Player, All-WNBA First Team, Scoring Champion, 2016, Nominee for ESPYS Best Female Athlete Award, 2019, WNBA Most Valuable Player 2021, the W25, Top 25. WNBA Players of the League's First 25 Years, Student Athlete Awards 2010, CA All-Academic First Team, 2011, CA All-Academic First Team, 2012, Academic All-America Team, CA Scholar Athlete of the Year, CA All-Academic First Team, 2013, Academic All-America Team, Senior Class Award, CA Scholar Athlete of the Year, CA All-Academic First Team, 2014, NCAA Today's Top 10 Award, other for their first match of March 2019, the Women of the United States Women's National Soccer. Team each wore a jersey with the name of a woman they were honoring on the back. Emily Fox chose the name of Del Don.